Assalamu alaikum. My name is Salim Siddiqui and thanks for watching this continuing series on the hotconflict.com website. We're still talking about the unseen world and talking about how fiction and reality and even pop culture relates to understanding the world around us and recognizing some of the signposts and seeing the spiritual nature of the world around us. And we've been talking about the show Lost and what it means to be spiritually lost or disconnected and how it is that someone begins to become found or connect themselves or finds the rope of Allah or connects to what many people would call source or the light and how that works in the show. Well, we've been saying that some of the things in this show, and this section is going to be especially important for especially uh, hardcore Lost fans, those of you on uh, online especially who have been coming up with theories after the end of last season on what's going to happen and who are the characters, who is Jacob and who is the Dark One and what's the smoke monster and what's going to happen and many people coming up with great theories. And I've been suggesting that people are now able to start looking into fiction and fictional stories and recognize that perhaps it isn't actually fiction. Perhaps the creators of these shows are not really the creators. Perhaps there is a more grand plan or an even greater view. Now, obviously, we give all thanks and praise to those who are involved in making the show and writing in it and acting in it and doing it. It's a great show. My point is not to suggest that. My point is not to suggest that there is something lacking in what they've done. No, it is to suggest that there is something perhaps even more incredible and spiritual and supernatural. Perhaps that when someone actually creates fiction, they are just getting a vision of something that actually exists. They are interpreting for themselves a visionary dream world and expressing it to us. Sometimes it is done well and sometimes it is done not so well and it becomes easier or harder for us to interpret. But there are shows like Lost that do it so well that the signs become so obvious that anyone can see. Now, if what I'm suggesting is true, then it would be silly for me to talk about some of the theories like other people and say, oh, this should be a theory or that should be a theory, right? We said on the hotconflict.com website, we always do something much, much stranger. I'm trying to suggest that fiction is perhaps true and that we should understand that the dreams and visions of people, even when they are fiction, whether they are written in a book or created in a movie or a television show, are expressing something true and it is for us to interpret them. Then you're saying what? The, the TV show Lost, that's, 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 not a, that's not a TV show that's real? So what? Then what? The island's real and everything that's happening is real and all this is real? That, that sounds crazy, right? Hmm. Well, if I'm suggesting that those who are awake, those who are aware, should be able to interpret from everything, even television, or music, or movies, or books, or fiction, then it is not good enough for me to be able to say, oh, this is what the show has been showing us in the past. I should be able to tell you what happens next, right? If I'm really suggesting that it is something that I am gifted with to be able to see a story. I should be able to tell you what comes next. Isn't that what being on the path of enlightenment means? Isn't that what being a way shower means? Isn't that what I'm supposed to be able to teach you, to show you? Here are signs. Here's what comes next. Don't make the mistake if I tell you what comes next. That's actually amazing. That's actually a true light worker. That's actually a true way shower. Someone who gives you real information that you can use. 
But if I were suggesting that the information was mine, or that I divined it myself, or pulled it out of the ethers myself, then perhaps I would be making something up. And who could be able to tell if my truth was any better than anybody else's? This is the whole test of discernment. So if I'm making these bold claims and I'm suggesting that the island is true and I can say that and that the story is true and what the story is trying to tell you and what's happening and that people are going to this island and seeking a path of ascension but there is a danger there on the island and a war is going to break out and something is going to change upon the earth and we're getting ready to see a dramatic conclusion of an amazing tale on television that is occurring for everybody in the world and that's such an amazing phenomena with such a large viewership is this all fiction? Or is the destiny on the show connected to your destiny? If you're a fan of the show, is it connected now to your destiny just by me saying this and you hearing it? Well, if I'm going to prove all that, then I have to suggest something even grander. At the essence of everything I have been telling you is that I am just a Muslim. There is nothing special about me. So if I'm going to prove you something, it has to be from a source. Because the whole point of this level of discernment, my brothers and sisters, on this next stage is you have to know where it is you get your information from. How can you discern from one channel or to the next? From one ascended master to the next? One light being to the next? One Pleiadian to the next renegade, to one Syrian, to one Andromedan, who has the true information? Why is it that all these beings are coming here to witness this ascension? Have you not realized yet, my brothers and sisters, that you are here on the earth, that they are coming to see you? that you are going to do the amazing things, that you don't need to look up to them or false worship any of the beings above you. You are going to ascend yourselves. And now is the time for your ascension. And everything around you is indicating the same thing. Are you going to be lost? Or is there something deeper? What's going to happen next season? What, who is Jacob? All right, Lost fans, let's talk about it. Who is Jacob? Leaves the island, comes back to the island, travels in time, apparently immortal, in an epic struggle against another being to hold him and contain him on the island. What happened to John Locke? What do all these things mean? What are some of the lost theories? Well, let me tell you a story from Islam. Because the importance of stories are so important, if I'm going to connect something to the theory of lost and and what is amazing about this island and this show and suggest that there's something more true to fiction then I have to give you an evidence, I have to give you a proof and that is the essence of this next level that we have been given the Qur'an, the word of Allah and we have been given the Sunnah and the statements of the Prophet so they asked and I present to you the story or the statement of Fatima bint Qais 